Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about Angular forms and in that especially we are learning about template driven forms. In the last episode I showed you how to reset forms in template driven forms, right? Today I am going to show you there will be instances where you want to set some value in the form before itself, right? You want to set some value which is pre-populated in the form, right? And we'll see how to do that today, okay? Using set value. This is part 58 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I've pl I'm planning around 100 tutorials for you, including detailed live use cases and complex form structures. So make sure you, you subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I post a new video. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. The notes, code for the GitHub link, all the things are given in the description box below. Make sure you let me know if you need any help on any of the topics that I've covered so far. I've covered from ground zero to 57 episodes so far, all in details to help you master and learn Angular 10. I'm here to help you. Ask me if you have any doubts. A quick note again to our viewers who are joining us new, what are template driven forms? Template driven forms are very simple, straightforward, easy to use. All the validations, the forms are created in the template file, which means all the code is written HTML. We use HTML 5's basic validations like required, min length, max length, pattern, etc. Most of the code resides in the template file, which means very minimal code is written in the component itself. Because of which unit testing becomes a challenge, right? It's easy, it's simple and it's suitable for relatively simpler form structures. But if your application desires to have a, like a complex structure, form structure, we should choose reactive forms. I'm going to cover that after this episode, so stay tuned for that. All right, so I've shown you step by step how to access the template driven forms in your application step by step. So make sure you check out the previous episodes because very, very important and you don't want to miss on that. That being said, the next uh, thing I showed you was how to use different input type elements, right? Like text, checkbox, uh, select drop down, etc. We also learned about validations in template driven forms. How do we add validations in the template driven forms? In the last episode, I showed you how to reset the template driven forms, right? So make sure you check it out if you missed it. Today, we are going to learn how to set value in template driven forms. So there will be use cases where you want the some value to be pre-populated, right? Let me show you the application. So this is a form we have. When I refresh the form, it's empty, right? For some reasons, like if you are in edit screen, if you are in update screen, you want to pre-populate the form, right? You want to pre-populate some of the values of the form. So how do you do that, right? So that's what we are learning now. So what we are going to do, we are going to have on ng on init, right? I'm going to create an object. I'm going to say user details is equal to. Now, go to your form, take all the values that, all the names of the model that you have, like first name, terms, customer type, right? And add it here in the, like these are the ones that we have. So I'm going to create an object with all the details. And terms is a Boolean. So I'm going to say true or I'm going to say false for terms, customer type. I'm going to say premium and finally the description. So these are all the elements which are there in your, okay. These are all the same name what you have in the form. This is your form which has these four or five fields. Give the same field names here and create an object. And then you would say ng on init, right? So what are we going to do? We are going to say load some data, right? So for that we'll need a form, right? So either way we can do it. Now, if I have to show you that, like, you know, it would be usually like you, you'll have the form context, right? You'll have the form context. So what we are going to do is uh, I'm going to add a button for now. 
Okay. Let's say I'll add a button just to explain it better to you. So I'm going to say set form values. Right. So you will pass the form value. Right. So here again we are calling and saying set form value. Let's say something like this. Right. Or say load values. Let's say this is a method. Go here and instead of on G on in it, I'm going to create here. And same way we'll copy cut this object and we will put it here and we told that we will pass a form as a value so put it here now what we are going to say is form value dot set value and we will pass this entire values right so now what will happen is when I click on the button set load values the method will be called and it will create this object and set the values in the form let's see that so here we have now I fill something I click reset it gets cleared now I click on set forms now you see the value is set here now we see this is not premium so let's check the spelling oh okay because it's value right so it has to be one right so now you see it is premium if I make it two it will be standard right similarly now if you want some field to be empty you can just leave it blank right now click on empty so now see this is blank remaining else are filled so this is how you can set values of any template driven forms easily right like again I keep saying that if your form is static if your form is simpler go with template driven forms for complex ones we will start with reactive forms from the next episode so stay tuned for that we will start with reactive forms thank you so much drop me if you have any doubts drop me the queries i'll be happy to help you see you in the next episode we will start with reactive forms